Ghosts. Welcome to the Bloody Ghost Show, an extension of the Bloody Ghost YouTube channel. I'm Madeline. And I'm Matt. And today, today, we're putting monstrous movies against each other. Not really. But the legendary original 1978 Halloween John Carpenter classic. And the 2007 Rob Zombie classic. That's where we're going today. We're going to see which one stands up and which one reigns king. It might be a split, who knows? And you guys might have to decide in the comments. It's tough, it's a tough one. <laughs> we'll see. Let's get right to it. If you've never seen Halloween before, it's about a young boy who murders his sister. And uh, a few years later he comes back and depending on which continuity you're paying attention to, murders, tries to murder his other sister. Right, yeah. Uh, but you know, on Halloween night and ends up murdering a lot of her friends. But does he try to murder her? I don't know because like, Every time, like in the sequels, when they get together, he always just goes like, mm. yeah, just like reaches his hand out to her like a little baby. It seems like there's some <clears> like <throat> love hate dynamic for sure. Yeah, but and then like in Resurrection, he does it, and then he just like ganks her, you know, just like stabs her and throws her off into a tree, and yeah. she falls all weird. I'll see you in hell. <gasps> it was originally called the the Babysitter Murders, and it was changed to Halloween after. It went into production, but yeah, this guy right here, 40 years of terror in this Captain Kirk mask. Uh, yeah, I mean, this movie spawned many sequels, uh, all of which we will cover in a ranked video in the future. Definitely. But man, there's, uh, there's no way to real put a statement on how much of an impact this dude had. Legend on the horror community, the horror genre in general, on uh, John Carpenter's career. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis's career. Yeah. Uh, wow. So, and they're making, you know, two more sequels right now. So, he's Exciting. not going anywhere. Nope. And people are still dishing out those greenbacks to see him, so. <laughs> Good job, little buddy. Uh, mm. Which is kind of funny, too, because he's always such a small little kid, kind of, in the younger version yeah. and then he's just this monstrous like and he originally i guess he was a normal looking originally he guy. was like kind of scrawny <clears throat> like average built and then like in rob zombies he's this massive predator and it's like this wrestler yeah, yeah it's exactly like this but that's not how he was really portrayed in the, the yeah originals. completely so yeah that was interesting and i mean and, and when it comes to a comparison of these two you know they are slightly different you know, right. they, they, over, they have the overall arc of what happens in both films is the exact same, but where we spend most of our time really in Rob Zombie's movie versus the original is with young Michael Myers and like his yeah. mom. Yeah, which I love. I love that Rob Zombie like dives into his world fully. Yeah. And you're like, oh, this is how like even doc the Dr. Loomis says a perfect external and inter interior. Mark you know, McDowell, internal. awesome as Loomis. And yeah, there's a good casting that. choice. Amazing um, casting choice. He's so good. Yeah, yeah. Clockwork Orange Boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I love seeing that. I love seeing the aspect of that because that's something that, like, I don't know if it was due to budget or what in the original, but, like, they just kind of skipped over all that and it was just it's like, so he breaks out. It really is yeah. because, like, you know, and I feel like even though uh, McDowell could easily do, like, you know, <laughs> in the original, Loomis. And his performance was so incredible and like he was able to portray how horrible Michael was right without us ever having to see it but like I have okay so as I was re-watching it like specifically you know the evil is gone. It, he like he chews the scenery a lot Dr. Loomis in the first one is really like creepy yeah he's kind of the old man at the beginning of uh, Friday the 13th he's like, like don't go into the Goody camp blood, ain't you? God damn it, Ralph, get out of here. Go on, get. Leave people alone. You'll never come back again. Oh, shut up, Ralph. Yeah, like, why is Yo, a healthcare dude. professional, like, scaring children and lurking in the shadows? Ah, get out of like, here! <laughs> and the way he talks about Michael, I'm just like, you're a professional and you're, you don't act like it. Yeah. Like, at all. Yeah. I mean, I get it. This is like the spawn of Satan or whatever, but, like, still. Yeah, it's kind of like the Jaws, like, Quint speech. Like, he had a dull's eyes, the blackest eyes. You know the thing about a shark? He's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a doll's eyes. That's kind of what they do in Rob Zombies, is kind yeah. of rip that speech off a little bit. These eyes do not see what 
you and I see. Behind these eyes, one finds only blackness, the absence of light. These are the eyes of a psychopath. You know what? I, I, I like Rob Zombies. I know a lot of people will dog on it, but to be completely honest, like, like it. it's got a real violent take to it. I don't necessarily love like the home like aspect, like the intro where he has to like kill his dad or his stepdad or whoever that is, who's a real piece of shit to him. I did like the way he killed him. I thought it was cool. The I duct taped him, him to the chair. Cool, yeah. Um, but that like, guy sucked. he really did. Yeah. But I just like, I mean, like, who, like, just show a clip right now of that breakfast scene. Oh, and just God. Any, choose any line at random that he says. Crying. 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 Just like here, that's all you do is cry. Sit on my pole right now. And like, when is like, he talks about skull fucking them like at, at the breakfast table yeah, and shit. Terrible. And I'm just like, that's not like that was too much for me i think the aspect of showing like young michael being bullied and wanting to like you know get his revenge and stuff like that that's cool i thought that was pretty cool like beating that kid in the the woods with a stick oh my god like when i was watching that i was like how do you like even direct children to do stuff like that i was like do those are those actors like 18 to look younger i mean like the first you know, the first kid was young, yeah. He was really young, but maybe the bully was, I don't know. I was just amazed at how it was shot and mm -hmm. like how violent and it did yeah. a really good job, yeah. You know, he, he, I think it was a really good job. And like, I think it was kind of goofy that he grows up to be basically a seven foot tall, like monster. <laughs> yeah, um, he didn't need to be. He didn't need to be. No. But the showdown at the trucker bathroom. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, when, uh, when Michael meets with Ken Forey at the truck stop in the bathroom and they straight up throw down and just are like bashing each other against each other, like so the good. wall, the stall. It's so good. Oh my God. That was Fighting like words. just two monstrous dudes throwing each other around. And apparently a lot of that is like, it was meant to kind of break away a little bit, but not as much mm -hmm. as they, they were just tossing each other around, which is insane. Um, so I do like that aspect of Rob Zombies. I do like the violent, Right. The, a little bit more because like really if you think about it in Halloween there's really not much blood or No, but it's like you know, perfectly shot. Yeah. Like it's just like it leaves so much to the imagination. Extra and... wide, anamorphic, mm -hmm. John Carpenter. So oh my good. god. It's so good. It's so good. It's a masterpiece. I love it. I watch it every year multiple times. Um, How do you feel about Jamie Lee Curtis versus Hannah Hall? Because I really like Hannah Hall. Yeah, no, I, I think she was so good. I think there, I, I think when it comes to Jamie Lee Curtis, I think she's an amazing actor. Um, I think she was still learning her craft when sure. she did Halloween. Sure. So I think you know, and you've got a more experienced actor, you know, for the remake. My biggest thing is that the Halloween original ones, the teenagers didn't look like teenagers, and Jamie Lee Curtis, oh, yeah. she actually, I'm pretty sure she actually was 16 when it was shot. Oh wow. Which, to me, she's, they still look like they were in their late 20s to 30s. Yeah, well, I feel like that's also like the time. I know it's like a weird yeah, thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Like, like, I just worked on a TV show that was like all in the 80s, and we, you know, it was like, this guy didn't look like, he looked older, and I was like, my dad looked like he was 40 when he was 18, you know? Like, sure. maybe it's just because I know him as an older, like yeah. looking older, but I don't know, I was just like, I totally get that though. But the, And they even did that with 2018, where they, they hired people that, looked like they, they were actually in high school. They looked like they were in high school. Yeah. They were more, a little bit more believable. Even though Daniel Harris is like 30 something. But the, it doesn't matter like how old you are. Yeah, she looked, yeah, look. she, she yeah. easily pulled it off. Yeah. It was awesome for him to put her in the movies. Like, uh, she was great. And like, cause I am a huge fan of her Halloween movies. Sure. Like when I was a kid, I was watching those movies thinking like, oh my God, it's somebody my age. Right. in in this movie and i was like yeah. oh my oh my you know i was really rooting for her and stuff like that whole like kitchen like elevator shaft scene like oh my god <laughs> forget about it so good. um but yeah no i uh so yeah i love it, the violence when but. it first starts out you prefer the original true i think if uh the original had the original to me is like an untouchable right. thing um it's sacred ground but um I, like I said, I, I like the violence more in Rob Zombies. Like, if this is a person who can, you know, take a, a, a sewing needle to the, to the neck and get up and take six rounds to the chest and get up and all this stuff, yeah. I get why they'd make him a bigger one, a bigger person, sure. an imposing person. 
still didn't need to be a wrestler size, you know, like yeah. he, there is kind of a supernatural kind of element uh, to him, you know, I mean, nobody can take that many bullets and just walk away. Yeah. But man. I think it's like powerful yeah. when you see like, even when they're children and they just like, you know, did their ki first killing spree. And yeah. they come out and just seeing the two parents on the lawn with yeah. the child, like that's just that alone, like no words, like that's so powerful. And I really like Rob Zombie. I, I, I love his movies. I really right. do. I do too. Like, even like the worst of the worst of Rob Zombie is still cool to me as a horror fan. Right. Um, and Same. I like what he did with his story. I thought that he showed, you know, how strong he was, how like, you know, it didn't matter. Like he killed um, uh, Danny Trejo. You know, he's I like, know. Mikey, why Mikey? Ah! I was gonna you, Mikey. Awesome. Oh, God. Um, oh, my God. You know, I really liked some of the production design in Rob Zombies a yeah. lot. Like, his cell oh, was the awesome with all the masks and everything like that. It was super cool. Oh, the I wardens. I liked how they aged every... Yeah. I hated the wardens. God, they were terrible. <laughs> I was so happy when they were killed. You know, and it's like, I just... Uh, you know, and there's so many horror legends that he would just keep throwing in there. You know, Bill Mosley in the movie, D. Wallace. Uh, you know, and she just gets like the weakest death of the whole, the whole thing. It's just like yeah. I, it's like a qu quick like. Damn! It's because like, I have like kind of a theory about <laughs> Michael Myers that we can get into later. But basically, well, we can get into it now. Like, well, that's why we're here. Yeah. He okay. He like doesn't kill children he protects children and he's kind of a protector of people and i don't know why they never made a freddy versus michael myers they tried they they tried that they also tried a, a freddy versus ash they um, did a freddy versus jason which was cool and fun to watch but like they should have done one that protects children because i can't remember when he's killed a child no but he doesn't like dogs and that's not cool dude that poor dog yeah mm. I always wondered how they did that. I was always like, did the, was the dog just being held by its owner and just like went to like relaxed? Maybe. What, what did they do? I don't know. I mean, it was 78. They didn't really have the when did that animal when cruelty did that part stuff. When did happen? When he, uh, the dog outside barking at the neighbor's house. Oh, right, right, and right. And he picks it up and you just see the dog like completely like go limp. Yeah. I, I always wondered how they did that. I mean, he, <laughs> okay, but to be fair, like, you know, he does torture animals and rub zombie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, but and in future films, like it shows, like when they go into the house, there's like e eating rats and all yeah. sorts of weird stuff. And um, but I mean, this guy, I'm sorry, man. You just can't, you can't beat the original. And I know, mm. like, it came out a long time ago. And I know today's audiences want flashier, more exciting stuff. But like, yeah, the beauty of having somebody who knows what to do behind a camera, like. And like Rob Zombie knows what to do behind the camera too, but like the style of of seventy eights, so and just the way the camera moved is, you know, one of the first films to really heavily rely on Steadicam. Um, it you was know. a good homage though. Like he yeah. really like even the like little clown mask was the same. Mm -hmm. So many things were the same. Absolutely, you know? it was done very respectfully. Like even the uh, like you know. teenagers like having sex, he still had shitty glasses on. Yeah, were still drinking beer. Like everything that was relevant and super important was totally done well. And honestly, I think that, you know, I actually like Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 more than Halloween. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. I like it a lot more. Um, yeah. And that's for a future episode. But, um, you know, when it comes to me, it's just a soft place in my heart because honestly, it was one of the first horror movies I watched as a kid yeah. that, like, scared me, but, like, also wasn't, like, a supernatural thing that was coming out from under my bed. Like, this happened somewhere else. Yeah. I could, like, be safe in Orlando watching this, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he wasn't just going to come out of the woods and get me, you know. He wasn't, like, the everyman's fear. It wasn't the boogeyman, even though he's called the boogeyman. Right. By, but, by his own healthcare professional. Yeah. <laughs> like, boogeyman's real shit. <laughs> uh, by his insane <laughs> healthcare professional. Yeah. Um... But you know what? For such a low-budget film, you know, there's even, like, you know, oscillating fans outside the window of Jamie Lee Curtis's house, like, blowing the oh, curtains yeah. and stuff. It, it's so low-budget. It's, it's, it's just got such a place in my heart for, like, as an so indie good. filmmaker and everything else of, you know, wow, somebody can take something, such a small, basic idea, 
and really make something that lasts for 40 years that's like amazing you know Shop still getting frame, yeah everything you know that inspired me to pick up a camera you know and like framing and everything yeah. else and pacing and you know that the kind of oneer that's in the beginning of the movie that follow, goes all the way up through the stairs and like goes through the murder and they don't you know make, like they just don't make it like that anymore. They don't, no. you know, and it's it's good when some movies come out like it follows or something where you get something that's kind of close to that vibe. Yeah. And you really feel it, you know. It's not just like thrown at you. That's what that movie did for me. It's always got right. a soft place in my heart. I love Rob Zombie's Halloween. It's hard for me to pick one, but it's I'm going really to have to. I'm going to have to go with my heart and go with the OG. Yeah, same. Uh, you know, that's just going to win, just because overall, like for me, it was a story that like never like took me out of it because of something, and Rob Zombie's takes me out of it sometimes from like with the over the top mm -hmm. violence or dialogue, whatever yeah, it is. It's like a little much. sometimes it gets to be a little much, and I'm just kind of like, oh man, come on, all right, like you yeah. know. Um, you know, he was brutal, but like, we don't have to see every hit, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. um, you know, and sometimes that's the more fun thing. And, but like, he did capture Michael Myers, you know, sure. there was, you know, he didn't care. He killed everything in his path. And I think that was one thing that like he made him gross teenagers that were being <laughs> gross. Like, yes. and that's why I love him. I'm like, these teenagers are breaking <laughs> into people's houses. They're having sex. Like they're horrible. Like he's just doing kind of the right thing in some weird way. I guess you shouldn't be killing them, but like. They had it coming. I just feel like there should be a sequence of him killing everyone right now to like that song from Ghostbusters. It's like cleaning up the town. <laughs> well, Linda's, just... Linda's boyfriend was gross, though. Yeah. Like they were in the van and he was quoted saying, I wrote it down, like they're talking about like taking off each other's clothes. And he says, then we'll rip Lindsay's clothes off. Lindsay's six years old, seven oh, years yeah. old. Why did he say mm. that? That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, so Michael's not that bad in stopping pedophiles. So that's why I think him and Freddie would be really good together. But The new anti-hero. Get out of the way, Joker. Yeah. He's been here. He's We already got one. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Michael Myers is awesome. The original 1978 is always going to hold, hold Rain King for me. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, the people he killed, some of it had it coming. Like, Annie. Annie sucked. Yeah. Like, she was, like, taunting him. Rude. And, like, Daniel Harris gets brutally murdered in this. Well, not murdered. She survives. But, like, oops, spoiler alert. Uh, but that scene of her in the, like, just getting just continuously stabbed is, like, so hard to watch. So, Rob Zombie, you're the man for that one. So, um, you know, they both have great things, ups and downs. Um, but for us, Halloween 1978 reigns king. Wonderful graphic, explosions, uh, screams. Um, and so let us know in the comments below what your favorite film is. And for the Bloody Ghost Show, I'm Matt. I'm Madeline. And we will see you next time. Stay screaming. Hey, thank you so much for watching that episode of the Bloody Ghost Show. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite kill is in the Halloween franchise. And buy yourself a cool jacket like this at our store. Swag on sale now. What?